Wait, wait, wait a minute. Was was King David a hero or a villain? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I want to talk to you guys about some of the heroes of the Bible. You know, there are a lot of stories about a lot of people in the Bible who did a lot of really great things. And there are a lot of really recognizable stories from the Bible. You know, there's like there's like Noah and the ark and there's David and Goliath and Daniel in the lion's den and Joseph in the coat of many colors and Moses parting the Red Sea, the 12 disciples performing miracles. There's all kinds of heroes in the Bible doing really cool things. But, you know, the Bible is, well, first of all, it's real, right? It's a real story about real people. But there were a lot of people doing a lot of really incredible things. So there are some ways that the Bible kind of reminds me of some of the like made up stories that I like, you know, like superhero stories or like fantasy stories or movies or things like that. You know, I love stories about, you know, heroes defeating villains. But man, in like the made up stories, heroes do good things and villains do bad things. And if and if a hero in a story, like a made up story, if a hero does something that's bad, it's usually not that bad. And they usually, you know, they fix it by the end. But man, looking at the Bible, some of these heroes do some pretty terrible things. I think King David is a good example of this idea because like David was chosen by God to be the king of Israel. And he was chosen by God because God said he was a man after his own heart. And David believed in God so much that he was willing to go fight a giant that nobody else in all of Israel was willing to fight. And because of his faith, he beat that giant. And like a big chunk of the Bible was either written about or by King David. But if I'm being honest, King David was messed up. Like he did some heroic things, but he also did, I think, one of the most villainous things done in all the Bible. He, he had a man, a good man, killed so that he could have that man's wife. Like that's, that's not the sort of thing heroes do. That is definitely the sort of thing a villain would do. And it's not just... It's not just David who messed up. It's honestly, it's honestly everyone. You know, Moses, he messed up so bad that God did not let him go into the promised land. Jacob stole the blessing from his brother by lying to his father. There are so many examples of the heroes in the Bible doing really bad things. Even the, even the people in the Bible that we didn't hear them do bad things, like there are, there are several prophets where it's like we don't really hear that they did anything wrong. But the truth is that aside from Jesus, everyone sins. Everyone does what is wrong. None are righteous. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Only Jesus never sinned. Only Jesus never did anything wrong. And the truth is that for a really long time, I was very bothered by this idea that these these heroes in the Bible were pretty terrible people. That's not how I like my stories, right? I like my heroes to be heroes and my villains to be villains. Good guys do good things, bad guys do bad things. And it wasn't until kind of recently that I I really kind of like realized, well, well, two different things. For one, the Bible is not a made-up story. And in made-up stories, you might have superheroes who are always good and villains who are always bad. But that's not the way it is in real life. You can, you can have people in real life who are on the side of good and people who are on the side of bad. But in real life, we are all sinners. We all mess up. We all make mistakes. We all do what we should not do. And the other thing that I realized is that these heroes in the Bible are not the hero of the Bible. The hero of the Bible, the hero of life in general, is Jesus. It's God. Just God. That's it. So going back to the example of David, the the thing that made David a man after God's own heart was not that he never did anything wrong. It's that he recognized his need for God. You know, one of the things that David said in one of the Psalms that he wrote is, he said, blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him and in whose spirit is no deceit. David knew that he needed God. And if you're going to copy David in anything, let's copy him in that. David was not perfect, not even close. 
And aside from Jesus, not another person in the whole Bible or another person in the whole world ever is perfect. Not even close. And so I think the reason why we see so many of these, you know, heroes in the Bible mess up so badly is because these are true stories and real people mess up so badly. And we see this because God is the only hero. Jesus is the only real hero. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would recognize who the real hero of the Bible is, the real hero of the world. It's not David, it's not Moses, it's not Noah, it's not your pastor, it's not your parents, it's not your your best friend, it's not me, it's Jesus. And if you're going to be like someone, be like Jesus. The good things that the heroes of the Bible did and the good things that the heroes of this world do are just examples of them being like Christ. So let's do our best to be like the, the heroes in the Bible and do our best to follow Jesus and recognize when we mess up because you're going to mess up. I do all the time. And I am not at all saying that you should mess up on purpose or that it's okay to do what is wrong. But the truth is that our sin, our imperfection, just shows how perfect God is and how perfect his love is. Because even though we sin, even though we are messed up, God loves us anyway. God demonstrated his own love for us in that while we were still sinners, while we were his enemies, Christ died for us. Not because we're awesome, but because he is and he loves us. All of the heroes of the Bible are not that great. Just Jesus. God is the only true hero. Let's do our best to follow him. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And hey, could I ask you guys a really big favor? Could you pray for me? Could you you pray for Douglas Talks? Pray for this ministry? Because I would really like this channel and these videos to be what God wants them to be. I would really like for me to be who God wants me to be. But I am not perfect. I, I am, I'm just Douglas. And I would really, really love your prayers for, for guidance, for strength, for, for wisdom in, in what I should do and how I should do it. And I'd really love your prayers for the, the ways and, and means to continue this ministry. And I'd love your prayers that these videos would be helpful and that they would point people to who is most important. They would point people to the real hero of the Bible and the real hero of the world, of life. That they would point people to Jesus Christ. There's power in prayer because our God is powerful. So would you please pray for Douglas Talks? It would mean a whole lot to me. Thanks, guys.